Ohio Colorado River turns yellow after one million gallons of toxic waste leaks from this used gold mine, but authorities insist there's no danger. Environmental Protection Agency wanted to pump out contaminated water from Gold King Mine near Durango. Coordinator says much more water than expected was behind dirt and it began leaking out before surging into river. Contaminated Cement Creek leads to Animas River, which flows into New Mexico and joins Colorado River in Utah. River turns orange with contaminants such as iron and zinc, though experts don't know exactly what is in the water. Spill not believed to affect drinking water, though fears remain for wildlife as much courses downstream. Preliminary tests show that the acidity of the river has increased 100-fold since the spill. A federal mine cleanup crew unleashed a million-gallon mine toxic waste spill that sent a plume of orangish muck down a river in southwest Colorado on Thursday. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency said that a cleanup team was working with heavy equipment Wednesday morning to secure an entrance to the Gold King mine. Workers instead released an estimated 1 million gallons of mine waste into Cement Creek. Contaminants coursed down the creek, which runs from around Silverton, Colorado, into the Animas River before flowing into the San Juan River in New Mexico and joining the Colorado River in Utah. Officials say that the water, believed to now contain high amounts of iron and zinc, does not pose a threat to drinking water. However, fears remain that it may kill fish and other animals after the river's acidity increased 100-fold. Single quote THE project was intended to pump and treat the water and reduce metals pollution flowing out of the mine, aid agency spokesman Rich Mylot said in a statement. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency said a cleanup team was working with heavy equipment to secure an entrance to the Gold King Mine in southwest Colorado on Wednesday. Officials emphasized that there was no threat to drinking water from the spill. But the downstream water agencies were warned to avoid Anima's water until the plume passes, says David Ostrander, director of EPA's emergency response program in Denver. Some have speculated that although local cities mostly pull from the Florida River, the inability to pull from the Animas would lead to water use restrictions. Officials weren't sure how long it would take the plume to dissipate, Ostrander said. The acidic sludge is made of heavy metal and soil, which could irritate the skin, he said. The EPA was testing the plume to see which metals were released. Previous contamination from the mine sent iron, aluminum, cadmium, zinc and copper into the water, said Peter Butler, co-coordinator of the Animas River Stakeholders Group. Contaminants have made the water more acidic with a pH drop from 7.8 to 5.8, according to tests from Colorado Division of Reclamation, Mining and Safety Scientist Kistin Brown. A neutral pH is 7 and each whole number below representing a tenfold increase in acidity, meaning that the animus has become 100 times more acidic. Earlier Thursday, the EPA said in a statement that the polluted water was held behind unconsolidated debris near an abandoned mine portal. The plume made its way to Durango on Thursday afternoon, prompting La Plata County health officials to warn rafters and others to avoid the water. The scenic waterway was the backdrop for parts of the movie Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid and is popular with summer boaters. Durango stopped pumping water out of the Animas River on Wednesday to make sure none of the waste could be sucked up into the city reservoir. It also suspended the transfers of raw water to a local golf course and Fort Lewis College. Pet owners were advised to keep dogs and livestock out of the Animas. It's really, really ugly. Butch Knowlton, La Plata County's Director of Emergency Preparedness, told the Durango Herald. Any kind of recreational activity on the river needs to be suspended. In Farmington, New Mexico, city officials shut down water supply intake pumps to avoid contamination and advised citizens to stay out of the river until the discoloration has passed. Don Cooper, 
emergency manager in San Juan County, said people should not panic because the EPA had told the county the spill would not harm people and that the primary pollutants were iron and zinc. It's not going to look pretty, but it's not a killer, Cooper told the Farmington Daily Times. However, some were worried about what else could be in the water from the mine which first started more than 100 years ago and never produced in the modern era before its permit was revoked in 2005. Single quote THE most important thing is what's in it. I need to know. Steve Sorker, the city of Durango's utilities manager, told the Denver Post. Back in the 1800s, things were used in mining that aren't allowed anymore. The impact on wildlife wasn't clear. There are no fish in the cement creek watershed because of long-standing problems with water quality, the Colorado Department of Public Health and the Environment said. Subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmean.webs.com.